around, you know, Marjorie Taylor Greene is sitting around sending um, nasty tweets to uh, Matt Gates, who's a hero. You saw that. Unbelievable. Marjorie Trader Greene. Matt Gates sends a tweet out. Very nice. Olive Branch. Hey, congratulations, MTG, on your committee assignments. Great to have you back. We're going to do great things. You know, so good this has happened and looking forward to working with you. And she retweets it out with a comment that basically says, go to hell. I'm power, paraphrasing, but it was, a, you know, go to hell. You tied Congress up for a week with your nonsense to try to get MTV ratings. And I'm the leading voice of MAGA. That's that's her response. I mean, come on, st stop. Unbelievable. Matt Gates is a hero, and he was just being a gentleman, right? And then she retweets that. Stop. I always feel like saying, you know what? Go away. What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard Ojeda here, and the hierarchy of the MAGA ecosystem is really fascinating, isn't it? It's like studying an ant farm. All the little worker ants stay in their lanes in loyal, obedient service, and if one of them gets out of line and bumps into another, they start freaking out and eating one another. Well, Marge the train wreck green and Matt the pedophile Gates bumped into one another, and the hissy fit have been something to watch, and it's breaking the entire MAGA hierarchy. Just look at John Fredericks here flipping and flopping like a mindless insect at the sight of this little MAGA family bickering. Funny, isn't it? Marge calling for armed insurrections is just a normal day at the office, but if she says something against Matt Gates, then all of a sudden, Fredericks is finally willing to label her a traitor. Pretty clearly illustrates where this guy's loyalties lie. He doesn't care that Marge is a traitor to America. No, of course not. A traitor against Matt Gates? Now that's an unforgivable crime. Just look at how ripe this man crush is. Frederick spends 90% of this video up Gates back end, admonishing him as a hero every fifth word. And all of it is in the pursuit of the trophy of most MAGA. Gates and Green are competing to see who is most MAGA, and John Fredericks wants to make sure his bet on the right horse to help carry him that distinction as well. It's a little secret society with the brownie point system. Did you uh, try to overthrow democracy on January the 6th? 10 points for that. Do you worship on the altar? of Donald Trump with twice daily prayers and a dollar under your my pillow for the Trump Ferry Fund? Five points for that. In general, if you're short a significant amount of brain cells and are easily manipulated, you too can be in contention for most MAGA. But the number one qualification to put yourself in the running for the distinction of most MAGA is, of course, proving how un-American you are. If you want to wipe Trump's undercarriage with the United States Constitution and plug the White House plumbing system to delete democracy and appoint a brain-dead dictator, then ding, 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 you are the most MAGA. Congratulations. And with Matt Gates' cute little charades during McCarthy's speakership failures, it seems like the pitiful, perverted pedophile is half a length ahead, heading into the final turn. All the little right, alt-right podcasters are placing their bets on Fredericks has gone for broke on the pedophile. Wouldn't it be something if these morons actually put their time and effort into people who actually have plans to shape America for the better rather than those whose only goals are flattening their wallets and exonerating themselves of their crimes? But then it wouldn't be Republican politics, now would it? Well, that's about the facts of the situation. So tell me which MAGA monstrosity are you betting on in this horse race? Or better yet, which one is going to fall flat on their face? Because as people who actually care about this country, our goal must be to make sure every one of these MAGA fools end up dead last. And that's a fact. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.